Now I've got the got the magnet part mounted on the armature. So if you get a look at this, these are 144 pound magnets. I got two of them stacked, so there's four of them. And uh, I don't have the the end support on it yet. I have to wait until I finish mounting it. But uh, let's look at the part that's inside the generator. Okay, the generator is mounted. And as you can see, we got a good clearance. I try to get as close as I can, but those magnets really, they're flat. It needs to be smaller. Um, narrower magnets basically and the housing is an AC motor so magnets are now mounted on the shaft on the back of the pulse motor and I'm going to finish putting it together here Take a basic look at what's going on here. Currently it's outputting 11.69 volts. That's the AC cycle, although it's a dirty one. Okay. It's running. As you can see. It was at 5.1. I put the generator on. Now it's the 34.7, and the output's 13.5 volts. Now the generator currently is not hooked to anything except for the meter. Um, let me give you an amps reading here, real quick. So right now the motor is drawing from the 36 volt batteries. 2 amps, 2.5 amps, 2.06 amps. So basically the drag has doubled the input amperage. Okay, the output is at 2.47, let's say. 2.47 amps, that's the output. And the input's 2.1 amps. And it's running extremely slow right now, you might see. So, so let's crank it up a little bit. The output's 14.9. Let's draw down to 33.8 in, 15 volts out. Generator is making 13.35 volts. Smooth and tighten the scope up a little bit. But basically, that's where we're at with the BMG at this moment. So I can crank it up a lot more, but I really don't feel comfortable with the wheels. Um, enough torque there, you can hear. Got plenty of headroom. It's able to go a lot faster. Now the output's 15.2 volts. And we're at 13.76 volts on the generator. Try to run some more tests, be a little bit more. But the motor is able to handle the drag of a full metal cage around the magnets. So um, the, the earlier test I did, uh, it seemed to be right behind the curve though. So the amount of drag created by the motor does not completely offset the amount of energy being made by the generator. So we're still behind that 
efficiency curve of a, over unity. And uh, this is the best case for the VNG with the metal type generator. The next generator will be a, a wind generator and uh, it'll have no metal between the magnets, just the copper. Now the, obviously Lin's Law still applies. There'll be drag according to the load, but we won't be generating drag by just the metal housing of the co copper coils. So um, this is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel, signing out.